Hi friends! Today, we will learn the science behind lightning and preventing static electricity at home. So let's start. We have learned that static electricity results due to the movement of electrons from one object to another, which results in a more positive charge in the atoms of the object that leaves electrons and a more negative charge in the atoms of the object which gains electrons. So the object with imbalanced electrons is called as charged with static electricity. And this electricity is called static electricity because the electricity is at rest. Now what happens to the static electricity? Do charged objects stay charged forever? No, the charge goes into the air and the objects become electrically neutral again. Once an object, say a balloon, is charged, it attracts bits of paper. But after some time, it won't. So the charge is discharged into the air after some time. This phenomenon is called electric discharge. It is experienced as sudden shocks or sparks. I repeat, the moving of charge into the air is called electric discharge and it can be experienced as sudden shocks or sparks. Lightning. You must have seen lightning in the sky. Lightning is also a sudden electrical discharge that occurs during a thunderstorm. Now let's try to understand this phenomenon. Evaporation of water results in the rising of water vapor into the air and the formation of clouds. The clouds keep growing in size, and the top of the clouds have temperatures even below freezing point, and water vapor turns into small bits of ice. These bits of ice continuously collide with each other, which leads to the transfer of electrons and builds a lot of positive and negative charges in the clouds. And gradually the whole cloud fills up with electrical charges. Lighter, positively charged particles remain at the top of the clouds, and heavier, negatively charged particles float to the bottom of the cloud, or sink to the bottom of the cloud. This huge buildup of positive and negative charges lead to the electrical discharge, that is, atoms try to neutralize and we see a giant spark as lightning, and this is the example of lightning inside the cloud. Sometimes the extreme negative charge at the bottom of the cloud may attract positive charges on the ground and results in lightning between the cloud and the ground. So lightning can be of three types. Intercloud lighting, intercloud lighting, and cloud to ground lighting. Now let's learn about the three types of lightning. Intercloud lightning is the most common type of lightning. This lightning occurs within a cloud. Here, the two types of charges attracts within the cloud. And this type of lightning is visible from even miles. The second type of lightning is intercloud lightning. That is between two separate clouds. Here, the two different types of charges attract. These charges are present in two different clouds. The third type of lightning is cloud to ground lightning. That is, electric charges occurs from the clouds to the ground. So here the discharge occurs between a cloud and the ground, and this type of lightning is most damaging. It damages property and life. I repeat, lightning is of three types. Intercloud, that is within the cloud, Opposite charges attract and discharge. The second one is intercloud, that is, between two different clouds. And the third one is cloud to ground lightning, which is the most damaging. Lightning can be seen as zigzag patterns that you see in the sky, which are very dangerous. The lightning bolt can be as hot as 30,000 to 50,000 degrees which is even hotter than the surface of the sun. Yes, hotter than the surface of the sun. 
So now you know what is static electricity and the reason behind lightning that you see in the sky during a thunderstorm. This is called static electricity. Now you must have experienced sudden shocks in your house. Like sudden shocks from your mother or brother. Or a sudden shock from the carpet or touching the doorknob. So these sudden shocks are an electrical discharge. Let's learn how to prevent getting small electric shocks due to static electricity during your daily activities in your home. First, increase the humidity level of your house, as the moisture in the air can help to reduce static charge from building up, and for this purpose, you can use a humidifier, and you can also keep more indoor plants. Indoor plants help to increase the humidity level of your home. Second, you can buy an anti-static spray. They are easily available in the market, and treat your mats and carpets with it. You will experience less shocks this way. Now another thing is keeping your skin moisturized. As dry skin is more prone to getting static electricity shocks, so we should keep our skin well hydrated with moisturizers in order to prevent getting small electrical shocks. Now another point. We should wear natural clothes made up of natural fibers, like cotton, because synthetic fibers like polyester and nylon are more prone to the development of static charge, so they should be avoided. Now here we have another point. We can add some baking soda to the washing machine, as it creates a barrier between positive and negative charges from building up and creating static electricity. So you can add some baking soda to the washing machine. Here we have another point. We should also keep some metal item with us, like a metal ring or a safety pin, as it is known as grounding yourself. This way you don't accumulate static electrical charges. Instead, the charge is a transfer to the metal object that you carry. So friends, today we learned what is electrical discharge and how this electrical discharge is responsible behind lightning that we see in the sky. We also learned how we can prevent ourselves from getting small electric shocks due to static electricity. So you can guide your parents with these small little steps to avoid static electricity development in your house. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye bye